Hi, this is BZ Rieger in the Quantum Playground. I want to do a quantum toolbox on multidimensional mindfulness. Uh, it's um, it's going to be our go-to tool, the recognition of it, the implementation of it, the strengthening of the muscle of it, uh, playing with it, uh, co-creating with others with it. Um, because the, and I think there was a, definitely Lisa was mentioning this in a, in a Conscious Conversation Central a conversation the three of us had did a couple months ago, that, you know, the, 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 because she was talking about all of her wanted to come and connect uh, with all of her, and so there was various, all of hers. <laughs> So, you know, that, that brings to point the idea of being mindful um, and focused and, uh, and not letting distractions come in, yes. But what, what I'm um, speaking to and play with all the time and feel into is that we are not single track. We're not um, just the linear aspect. We're multidimensional and we can have multiple conversations coming in, uh, multiple data sets from different um, frequency levels coming in and we can play with all of those um, in a seamless way and be completely focused with each one of them. So that's the tool in the toolbox to play with and to really get acquainted with and notice it. And so you can start to do it in simple ways if you if you're looking at a piece of data, you're looking at a story. Um, one thing comes to mind just as a, as a little bit of example to, oh, maybe this is something for me to pay a little bit of attention to. It might be interesting. It might be a larger dot connected that's going on there. I posted something on the IUV um, from Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's other cat, <laughs> it's a blog, and they have um, pictures from um, the different from sun from the sun and different cameras, um, radio uh, right and forward and ahead and back, um, and you can see not only a, a huge. Uh, flare coming off the sun, but when they go to, I think it's um, the, the radio behind camera, you can see where there's actually a, well they titled it a bird, but there's a, a, a ship. There is a structure coming out of the sun. So that, that I use that as this example because the post itself is very interesting. Um, there's a lot that you actually pick up and tune in when you just tune in with the post. But if you're playing with that as one example multidimensionally, one could think, well, the sun is a big orange ball and it's all gaseous and, and you know, we can't get too close because the radiation and all these kinds of things. But if you just simply play with those images and entertain, dance with the questions, if you allow them to come up, from just that image, um, there's that way to have multidimensional mindfulness. Because you're looking at the, the blog post itself, you're looking at the image of the sun, you're looking at something coming out beyond the CME, um, and so what will happen, if you're open to allowing this to happen, is multidimensional mindfulness will come on, well, how is it possible that something can come out through the sun? Then you would find, you can do this organically within you now. You have access to all of this information now, just call it up. You can also kind of start that process by doing some research and looking at other things. But the sun is a portal. The sun is a gateway. The sun is not at all what we've been told and what we think it is. And there are all sorts of uh, beings uh, coming through now for this time, not only in craft, but in actual waves of 
new pulses of energy from source. So it's so this really isn't this is just a small toolbox conversation, but that's just one example of of looking at that. You can look at one thing and notice the different things. Um, you can also notice part of in there they're talking about they're showing you very clear images. Now mind you, this all comes from NASA <laughs> footage, right? But as someone uh, who's supposed to be watching keys into, uh-oh, <laughs> we've got bogeys <laughs> that we don't want people to see. Then you can see someone's queued up the distortion. So you can see you can, they've put distortion on there, which muddies what was clearly, you know, a big bird shape, um, just as a, in, in, a, in a representational way. Um, and so again, that's in a multidimensional mindfulness way, that's, huh, now you can look at the timestamps and when the images are taken, you can see how close they are together. Someone noticed, uh-oh, bogey, hit the button, distortion. Um, so that's another way to clue you in, to feel in for yourself, because you're the expert over any article or um, someone with alphabet soup after them, whatever it is, you're the expert and you can, as you as you play in this multidimensional mindfulness, you can clue into that and, and ask, what do I know? Ask yourself, call forth these answers because you're, well, one way to say it is you're the most amazing um, supercomputer in all of the galaxies. And you've got all this, right? In there. It's just remembering and Part of it is remembering how to access it, and part of it is um, kicking up your own uh, operating software to go with all of your your hard uh, wear that's now coming online. So this is all organic. This is all uh, divine. What I'm speaking of, but we all have this capability to do this now. So again, in that multidimensional mindfulness, just on this one example of Schrodinger's other cat, um, is when you notice something and you're still, you may be thinking, oh, that's really cool, or oh, well, I don't know what that is. You can get a sense of, well, if someone's trying to block it, <coughs> and again, you can see the timestamps, hmm, and what are the things to look into? You can do this with feelings within your body, use that multidimensional mindfulness, you know, I have a pain, let's say, in my shoulder. And you tune to that and you think, oh, you know, did I do something at work? Was I play, you know, softball practice too hard? Whatever it was. And you can, um, like, let your, your body and your emotions and all of your other mental, emotional bodies kind of catalog it. And is there a correlation? Can you be mindful, breathe into that? Is there something that's coming up for you that it's um, an expansion in within your body? Is it an integration? Um, and do you notice as you pay attention over here that that totally releases and lets go? And then all of a sudden, you know, in another place on your body, you've got a sharp pain or you've got a dull ache or whatever it is. So all of these, it's, it's kind of like, um, if you've ever gone to a, a jam session before the musicians start playing and you'll hear them all tuning up and sometimes it sounds you know kind of fun because they're they all kind of seem to go together the sounds and sometimes it sounds very discordant sometimes you might have a you know, you know over here and that's what we're doing we're tuning up we're tuning up our multi-dimensional apparatus um, not only f to bring it back to what it was before we came into this physical embodiment but now in the in the ascension embodiment where all of uh, the totality of who we are is coming into this body and we are becoming that singularity that unique singularity that is then in unity total unity total uh, recall and comprehension and creation in a, you know, just a right here, as Sheila would say, right here front of mind, you know, conscious way and the conscious leap that we're taking. So it really is a tool that you can become aware of, that you can notice, that you can fine tune, and it works on 
everything because everything falls into the multidimensionality uh, plane of what you're working so personal professional physical tangible around you creative things um, problem solving you know coming up with solutions creating new things uh, what it does is it's it allows you to be focused and present yet call forth other data, other resources, other knowings, other rememberings, other stories, other experiences, you know, if, if, that you have done, you in all of the yous of yourself <laughs> throughout the multiverse, throughout your existence, which is eternity. And it also gives you access in a, in a um, tangible right here recall way of the Akash records of, like I said, all the, the, you know, using the metaphor and it's actually a, a, a realistic way to, to, to describe it, the supercomputer super, super that the totality of your being is. And I'm trying to as nudge to say one way you notice that you can do it is you might get a nudge while you're looking at something or you know working something out for yourself. You might almost hear a whisper but it's not from uh, your knowing, your being from you higher self from all of you it's like you're you're reading um, you know someone wrote a journal let's say or a log of when they were constructing something and you're picking up on that so their experience their uh, uh, understandings their progress on something because and they don't have to be standing right near them near you you don't have to know who they are you don't have to have read this thing um, because we can call that forth. And as you start to play with this and get more used to this, you can build that muscle, you know, when you're reading something, when you're encountering uh, some information, you're talking to someone right there, you're working somewhere right then and there, kind of tune in and pick up those signals, the, the, um, the whole buffet of, of data that is available on all of that and start to start to implement that in how you do things and create things come up with solutions all of that um, and the very best way to start is to simply tune in and ask yourself make that connection with all of you and the tool that all of you is fully ensconced in and that's the you know I'm just using this as a placeholder word a supercomputer of multiverses size <laughs> footprint um, for finding all this play with it very cool stuff uh, very cool imaginings very cool actual tangible things that come to fruition from it connections you make um, and it's fun to be working on a project <coughs> excuse me with someone you know right in your vicinity right next to you or you could even do it you know on a zoom or teleconference or something like that where you know you're in connection active participation in the energetic way and you know maybe in the in, in the old-fashioned way on the phone or something like that Skype whatever um, and call this forward and have a, do, a new kind of uh, meeting or a new kind of um, uh, planning session um, in, in a multidimensional mindfulness way and it'll knock your socks off. It's, uh, it's really pretty cool. And the other fun thing just thought of, you know, you can do this and not everyone has to, quote unquote, be awake to the fact that they're multidimensional or a kick-ass creator being or any of those kinds of things. Maybe have a little bit of that, maybe a bit of an open heart 
and wanting to kind of notice things that are going on. So it, you can do it with beings who range the whole gamut, um, but you, it's all at the best of you. So when you have that intention and you and you are playing with that and you can do it in a group um, and you may be the only one aware of that, you still will get um, big shifts and changes, big ways this is unfolds and the other beings will notice and there's a wonderful opportunity to start to connect and describe um, what you're doing and how you're playing. So, have fun! I love you!